The following is made possible by the ARPIN Group and by Renewable Now. The International Society of Sustainability Professionals presents ISSP Profiles in Excellence, where leaders in sustainability share their experience so that others may learn. In this edition, we feature Graham Russell of the University of Colorado, Denver. Well, I'm Graham Russell. Um, I guess uh, I'm, I'm a Brit, uh, but, but been in the United States for 35 years, so more time in the United States than where I grew up in the UK. Uh, and I made my career in the environmental services industry, in the chemical testing laboratory industry that serves the, uh, does the chemical analysis for um, hazardous waste industry and the water industry, and spent 25 years in that industry. That's how I uh, eventually dribbled into um, sustainability. Um, since I moved out of the corporate world, I've done a fair bit of consulting in the clean tech space, recycling, electronic waste uh, recycling, and some other kinds of recycling. Um, and latterly, I have um, moved into the academic world as an adjunct um, faculty member at the University of Colorado in Denver, where I do some teaching on sustainability. And I have a part-time outreach job to promote the visibility of the Managing for Sustainability um, program in the business school at UC Denver. And I do other things uh, in the nonprofit world, such as for ISSP, because uh, I can afford now at my uh, stage of uh, life to pick and choose what I want to do. Um, where one of my fellow board members, KJ McCorry, was uh, whom I've known for many, many years because she was on my board um, four or five years ago when I ran a sustainable business association in Denver, um, uh, introduced me to ISSP and eventually introduced me to the board. So I'm grateful to KJ for, for bringing me into ISSP. It's as simple as that. Well, I think ISSP is a, is a really good source of information for um, um, emerging sustainability professionals. I think there's obviously a cadre of uh, um, seasoned sustainability professionals that have already established their credentials, um, such as we had on the um, uh, Wisdom panel yesterday. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a very large group of um, younger um, people who are interested in making a career or, or part of their career in the, in the sustainability space in the business world or in the world of government. And I think ISSP is a wonderful resource in terms of educational programs and also, um, at the, also for networking, uh, particularly at the, at the local level to the extent that chapters exist for ISSP. Um, they can meet other like-minded um, emerging sustainability professionals and learn a lot. Yeah, it, it, it seems to me, I mean, there are, as you well know, there are an awful lot of, of um, non-profit organizations and associations that are dabbling in and around the sustainability, the clean space, the green space, the sustainability space. And so I think it's essential for any of them to, to, to try very hard to carve out something really distinctive that they can pursue um, that, that, that provides lasting, ongoing value for um, the members, or membership in this case. Um, and, and it seems to me that, that um, the best bet in terms of ISSP from that standpoint is to pursue um, professional sustainability certification, which nobody is really doing for genuine sustainability professionals. There are other certifications for um, green building, for uh, green infrastructure, and some others. But for somebody who wants to be a purebred sustainability professional who can go into a company and say, I can teach you how to benefit from sustainable business practices. There is really no um, directly relevant um, certification and, and supporting education effort. And I think that's where ISSP has a real opportunity. There's a need in the market. Um, as I mentioned, I was in the environmental services industry and, and I was a, a grew up in that and made my career at a time when the environmental services industry was very much a matter of institutionalized conflict between the regulators and the regulated community. And it was, and it was just an enormous amount of wasted energy and money in, in, in fighting back and forth. And it became obvious, probably about 20 years ago to many of us, that if you could find ways of, of, of explaining to companies that they could actually benefit financially and in other ways, by taking care of some of these environmental issues um, 
without having to be clubbed over the head by the EPA or the regulators, that would be a much more constructive and productive way of dealing with some of the environmental issues. Well, that thinking has really become part of what is now sustainability. And of course, now it's spilled over into the social arena uh, as well. But that was how I came to get interested in, in what has now become uh, sustainability, or at least the environmental piece of sustainability. Visit sustainabilityprofessional.org for more about profiles in sustainability excellence and other exciting programs from ISSP, the world's leading professional association of sustainability practitioners.